Sisters. We're the Tower Sisters. I'm Darcy. And I'm Brenna. And we're going to do first one of our first blog vlogs, whatever you want to call them. And we're going to do a few of these as we go through the States on our little Statesides tour. So here's the first leg of our journey. So first of all, we visited Disney and Disney. Universal and we did that for a week. I probably wouldn't recommend it for a week, we'd probably recommend it for about 10 days, just a little bit longer, simply because it's an awful lot and literally we went hell for leather and are now knackered. Yeah. So um, what we did, we stayed in the All Star Music Resort, so it's actually a Disney resort, we would definitely recommend uh, doing that. Yeah, and it's very good. You get there and they're very welcoming and you get the Disney vibe straight away. You get a shuttle bus straight from the airport for free and they'll get you there. You then get given something called a magic band. Da -da! This is Brenner's particular favourite because it's purple. You can get these sent to you in advance if you buy your tickets way in advance or you just collect it when you get to the hotel. Now this is your ticket, this is your money, um, you've got a photo pass on there, more about that in just a moment. You get three fast passes a day, more about that in a moment and you can book things and it's what gets you into the parks of Disney. Also, before you even get there you can download the My Disney Experience app. Bear with me. So the My Disney <laughs> Experience app, you can book hotels, you can book food, you can book restaurants where you want to eat and we also got a dining plan and that was also on the magic band. So with the dining plan we had the Disney dining plan so this is a normal one and that entitled us to one quick service meal a day, one table service a day and one snack a day. So basically you got your breakfast, lunch and dinner there. For those who don't know what a quick service is, it's basically just like a buffet, just basically means you go up and get your food rather than someone putting it on the table for you. You can use um, the table service at all the parks, um, not at all the hotels, um, our hotels was not a table service, that was only quick service, but you have plenty to do, you've got buses that can take you there and you book them in for different times. Oh and you can also use them at Disney Springs which is their entertainment place as well. Just a little side note, beware, you might not necessarily get where you want to go. We wanted to do Be Our Guest Restaurant, which is the most popular restaurant in the Magic Kingdom in Disney. It is booked out months and months and months and months in advance. So, so the earlier you get the tickets, try and book it as soon as you can for breakfast, lunch or dinner. Now, the food was standard, great, did what we did. We had loads of snacks and stuff left over, which was handy because when we were leaving, we had lots of food to take with us because we were hungry in the morning. So for instance, cereal was a snack, so we used that as breakfast because the meals are so big. Yeah, so we also would advise that if you're going to do the Magic Kingdom and you come around September, October time, to definitely do the Halloween party yep. or Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. Now this was probably one of the best things we decided to do. It is extra and it is on price but the whole place is all Halloween themed and it is mental but it's not as busy as it would be during the day. Magic Kingdom for us was hectic during the day. It was great in the morning and it was calm but then as soon as you start to get a little bit into midday the place is mobbed. Queues are long. For example we had used some of our fast passes on some of the other rides so we had to queue for others. One of them was the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train one. We waited in the queue for two and a half hours. Yeah, it was, was only meant really to be. It? it was meant to be mm. forty minutes. Good ride, but not worth two and a half hour wait. So really think about what you want to do and where you want to go. But definitely do the Magic Kingdom. It's not. So, it's not so scary. Halloween party. As you get to go on every ride and everything that you didn't get to do in the first place, you get to go on that. We liked Hollywood Studios, the Disney yeah. Hollywood Studios. Loads to do there. Calmer vibe, but it's pretty cool and it's, it's very locked. heavily Star Wars themed at the moment. So yeah. if you're not into Star Wars. Um, I wouldn't recommend going. Yeah, it's not your thing if you're not into Star Wars. We're not massive Star Wars fans, but we did really enjoy it. Animal Kingdom, that was good. Uh, it was a lot quieter than the other parks. It was smaller as well, but the best thing we did, um, the Lion King, ex uh, like their show experience, definitely worth um, to go and see. Uh, uh, but really, the whole of Disney, it's magical, it's great, it's everything that you want, you just need to plan. Yeah, that is the main thing that we can say is just plan. Plan, it. plan, plan, plan as much as you can. 
Now, we also did, in that one week, we took two days off from Disney and we went to Universal at the weekend. Whoop! Universal was brilliant. It is amazing. It is... If you're not a big Disney fan, Universal will be amazing. It is the the theming is great, the the rides and a lot of them are not so scary rides. They're like three D and four D attractions, so anybody can go on them. However, so we were t informed before we went that we could be queuing for a long time, and that would have been the case. However, we decided to get the Express Pass. Now, depending on your budget, yes, it is quite a lot of money. It was about $99 each for one day. But this was for the two parks and it was unlimited. And that basically means you can get onto the rides without queuing. And it, we were able to do that because a lot of the rides and things were between 40 minutes to an hour wait. And we got to do basically the whole two parks in one day. Also, with this, you have the Harry Potter world. Absolutely amazing. Definitely recommend that. However, the Express Pass does not work for the Harry Potter world. So if you're going to Universal, that should be your first stop just so you go on the rides and things. Get them done over, out of the way, then you don't have to wait for three hours. Just and you them. get to enjoy the Harry Potter theming and where you go rather than just queuing for ages. Um, just a little thing on the Express Pass thing, when Brenna said unlimited, she also meant that you could get off the ride and go back on the ride. And you could do that all day. You could go on the same ride a hundred million times. There was no issues there. The water rides there, you do get wet. You know like we've got water rides back home in the UK that you get a little bit wet. Yeah. Now, the water rides, especially the rapid one in the um, adventure world, you definitely do get soaked. We so were drenched all day. Basically bring a spare <laughs> pair of clothes if you want to go on those rides. Or, or you can get one of those snazzy little plastic ponchos that everybody got and we I didn't. I don't stupid. really think that makes a difference. They have <laughs> Jurassic Park, which as you can see, and I love that area. You can actually go and meet a Velociraptor if you want. I unfortunately, and Brenna, unfortunately we couldn't do that one because the timings and different things. But if anybody does, I want you to send me a video of you meeting this Velociraptor. Quite scary. So we did that at the weekend and then we had one more day in Disney. Now I want to go back to Disney just briefly just to say also with your wristbands you get something called a photo pass. You probably have seen me and Brenna spam your Facebook feeds or whatever with photos and mini videos of us in Disney. What happens is you can get your official photo taken anywhere you like. Um, and they will take loads of photos and they will do some magical things where they'll put a video on it They'll get the photos from the rides and they'll do videos with that or they'll just have like you'll be having a photo with Mickey and Minnie And they were great and I'm going to be putting up them so soon as well And this was great and you got that on the pass as well You can pay for anything on the pass if you've got a credit card or debit card set up with it Which made it easier for us because then we didn't have to carry around cash all day So Disney and Universal overall they were brilliant It was a bit of a blur for us wasn't it Brian? Yeah. Yeah. it was brilliant um, again we'd say definitely book for longer definitely book for longer and definitely plan your trip that is the main thing if you get anything from this vlog is to plan 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 Disney Universal plan so guys we're gonna go now um, and we're gonna be doing a few more of these and we're gonna do them periodically throughout the next three to four months of our journey stateside and um, just to give you some inside info if there's any information you would like to know and we've got the answer we can send it back to private messages either via our Facebook page or our email which is the tower sisters at hotmail.co.uk um, but yeah, we're going to put some of the info underneath and different things and we'll give a link to the, the hotel we stayed at, the Disney Resort, which was great. So yeah, thank you for listening, guys. We know it's a lot of blah, 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 and this is our new and our very first one. So do bear with us as we tighten it up. But yeah, it's been good. See you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.